the channel. Finally back in Florida with another video and this one I'm really excited about. If you don't know who I am, my name is Austin. We're here with John and we're gonna talk to him about his amazing VW bus. And this has gotta be probably one of my favorite. I've always loved the buses growing up. John, tell me first off, before we jump in to what's powering this thing, what was the inspiration behind the build here? Well, the inspiration is, you know, it's sort of the first car that you ever had. It was a Volkswagen. So you, when you're a Volkswagen person, it, it sort of sticks with you. I've had a bus, this isn't my first bus, but okay. this is the first bus that has this power plant. And they're just a lot of fun and people always enjoy them when they see just them. like you did yeah exactly yeah. a little backstory i was at a car show a few weeks ago and i see this thing and I, like i said once you see you understand i was just in shock but i couldn't find john i didn't know where he was and so i walked away and i see him driving away as i'm walking up i'm like no <laughs> so i stopped him was able to get his information and now we're making this video. So tell me a little bit about the, the condition of the bus when you got it. Well, all the buses that you get, they're, you know, they're all 50s or 60s buses yeah. and they're all rusty and you have to do all this work to them, but that's just the way that they come. Buses come in all different configurations. Okay. Window buses, buses with the big top and yes. all the windows across the top. There's so many different variations of buses. And this one is just a panel bus, like a delivery, the simplest thing that they make. All right, my favorite part of this whole thing. Mine too. Let's talk about what you got going on here. What made you want to do this? And just tell me like what was going through your mind? Cause this is pretty incredible. Well, everybody does the LS. Yeah. So you can't do that. The Mustang 5.0, it always sounds really great to me. So I'm like, well, that's what I got to have. Yeah. Got to have the Coyote. Thank you genuinely for not doing an LS. I Listen guys, if you, you can have your LS. I appreciate the LS, but man, you got to love a Ford motor. I'm just... I'm and there's not, plenty of room for it. Yeah, exactly. Right? You for sure. It's not like you got to squeeze it in. Exactly. You know? There's plenty of room. Right. Automatic transmission, 6R80. Flip it's the intake rough. around because you don't have a lot of space in the front here. So that was able to flip around pretty nicely, really. We reached out to Art Morrison and we made some sketches back and forth with Art Morrison for the chassis. And we were able to give them the wheelbase dimension and the space constraints that we had on the width for the coyote because it's pretty wide they didn't even want me to do the coyote really? they wanted okay. me to do the ls oh they said it's too wide and i'm like that's not a problem yeah we can make this work so we settled in on the chassis and the the irs rear that they make and they're super nice to work with. You know, I had to bolt the bus on there, the body, and make some other little frame brackets to hold that and make the brackets to fit the motor. But other than that, it was pretty painless. The radiator fits back in there nicely in between the wheel tubs in the back. I kind of went overboard with some of these hard lines. There's some more hard lines on the other side for the power steering and the fuel. But I mean, if you're gonna make a build like this, you gotta, it's gotta be clean and, and nice and Yeah, tight. this is the tranny cooler. The other cooler on the other side is for the power steering. This is a factory ECU and a local shop over in New Smyrna Beach tuned it. Okay, yeah, VMP, right? VMP got it. Extra thanks to those guys. Yeah, that's And awesome. that was a lot of fun taking it over there because it had to take it over there on the trailer because it wouldn't run. It would start, but it wouldn't run. So we took it over to VMP on the trailer. I, I reached out to them and asked them if they could tune it and they said, no problem, yeah, you know? Of course. So I go over there and you know, they're Mustang people and it rolled off the trailer and it was just like any other event that the bus goes to when it's closed up, nobody's like super excited. But as soon as the door opens, everybody from VMP, they came out of the office. Yes, of everybody came out of the shop, all, all the dyno tune guys, they were like, well, we, we want to do this. We yeah. want to make this, make some power. And For I was sure. like, great. Yeah, they're good at doing that too. So I'm glad that they were able to help you out and get this thing going. That's, they were super that's nice. awesome. After VMP tuned it, what was the horsepower that this ended up putting out? It was over there for two days. It took about half a day for them to actually get it to run and idle. And then the second day they rolled it up on the chassis dyno and they had fun with that. And it puts out like 500 at the wheel, which is plenty good for a that thing that weighs 3,000 pounds. Yeah, for something like this, I think that's pretty, pretty yeah. great. And the weight distribution is 51 on the back yeah. and 49 on the front. 
I mean, you couldn't ask for something better than yeah. that. Art Morrison makes the rear end. It's called what they call a compact IRS. And it is based on a Camaro Gen 5 center section. And all the outboard component is Camaro. And it's funny too, you sent me a picture earlier. To change a tire or anything, you have to... You have to drop the whole rear end out. <laughs> That's pretty crazy. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. <laughs> the headers on there are stainless and the company that makes those is um, Ultimate Headers. And that was some of the driving factor on the dimensions going to Art Morrison was the width of those headers. So they, they make quite a few selections for Mustang, for Fox bodies and that sort of thing okay. and Coyote Swap. Those particular ones are the tightest ones, which helped out a lot. It's got Magnaflow mufflers on the back, gives it that nice sweet sound. I love yeah. the sound of that Magnaflow. Yeah, Magnaflows do sound really good. I, I do love them. The drive shaft here, it's looking pretty short. You want to explain? It is pretty bit? short. It's like nine inches long <laughs> and it, it's actually just a slip yoke. Okay. There's really no tube shaft, so it's it's pretty tight to the rear, but it works. It's hard to decide on the wheel tire combo totally. on any ride that you do. So I, I ended up settling in on these HRE wheels, and they were able to make the right offset where it would fit in under the bus, which was important. And working with them and Art Morrison was able to get all this done. Art Morrison does a Mustang II based front end assembly and the HRE wheel fits in there nice. That's a 19 by eight and a half wheel. And on the back, they're 19 by 10. You got the wheel wood brakes on here. Is it just wheel woods all around? All around. Yeah, there's six piston on the front, four on the back, 14 inch rotors. This stops super nice. And it's got a Hydro Boost brake setup, which is really nice. Well, since we got the door open, let's talk about the interior a little bit here. It looks pretty straightforward. Pretty straightforward for, for a bus. This is your typical uh, bench seat that comes with the bus. It's super simple. You got your basically your tractor wheel, steering wheel. Yes. It's super simple. When you ride in a bus, I don't know if you've ever ridden in a bus, mm -hmm. but you sit right over the front wheel. Okay. And it's definitely a different feeling when really? you're riding in it. Yeah. But it's fun. It's crazy. It's just got literally one, one gauge. gauge. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty one wild. Gauge. I wanted right to try there. to keep it as simple as possible looking. Yeah, no, totally. I love it. I, I think it looks great. And I love how the windows kind of push open like that too, which I think is really, really neat. Yeah, those are called safari windows. This is a typical aftermarket setup. A lot of bus people will put these safari windows in there, yeah. I think that kind of wraps it up. I say we get a camera in the, in the vehicle and go, go from there. Okay. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Before we hop in the ride, we do have some shirts for sale. So if you want to support the channel, keep this thing going. We have that linked in the description below. Help support the brand. Now let's get back to the video. Right up on the dash. <laughs> yeah. This could be a, a roller coaster cart almost. Yeah. When you're in a bus, you're the first one to arrive at the scene of the accident. Yeah. <laughs> For real. <laughs> it is kind of trippy, like sitting here over the over the wheel. Yeah. I feel like I'm floating almost. You know, like you're just kind of gliding through everything. Isn't this nice and quiet? It is actually very, very quiet. That is really surprising. I almost forgot there was a coyote in there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That is pretty wild how you, usually coyotes you think is just loud and rowdy, but this thing is sounds like a like a Prius, dude. Like yeah. It's, like a, <laughs> it's just like a Prius. <laughs> it doesn't it's not squirrely yeah it's very stable that um i think that irs rear i think that really makes a big difference on how it how yeah. it tracks holy moly that was fun i'm like just smiling ear to ear what i really like about this is it's very unassuming like you were saying people at car shows they see it oh yeah that's cool and then you open those doors and like holy crap like it's the same thing when you get on it yeah if nobody even if you just got in this didn't look back there or anything, 
you would just be like, all right, cool, you're cruising because it doesn't make a lot of noise. And then you get on it, you're like, oh, okay, now we're cooking. Now we're cooking. That's awesome, man. How, how long did it take you to, to build this? This is a two-year build. Two years? Okay. I mean, honestly, that's not really bad at all. Two years is pretty good, I'd say. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for watching this video. And John, I appreciate, appreciate you taking it. the time, man. This was a super cool ride. I'm so excited we got to feature this on the channel. And I also want to give a huge shout out to Gum Out for sponsoring this video and hooking John up with a little care package. What they did was gave him some Gum Out all-in-one. What this does is it cleans the entire fuel system, removes carbon deposits, and helps clean fuel injectors and carburetors to help maximize horsepower and fuel economy. We like horsepower. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. <laughs> so big shout out to those guys. I really appreciate them. Also guys, we do have some shirts for sale. If you want to go in the link in the description, you can check those out. But without further ado, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.